naman sa expansionist nationalism. Halimbawa, for example, ang uh, Saba, Saba Malaysia, Saba ba? Uh, I'm so sorry for the word. Okay, so uh, this is a claim, of course, kay Sultan Kiram, uh, king uh, na ang Saba Malaysia is formerly known or formerly part of Philippines. So, ang halimbawa dito sa expansionist nationalism is yung uh, sinasabi mo halimbawa sa mga sa, pam sa pamilya, of course, sa mamamayan na atin yan. Atin yung pulo na yan. Atin yung isla na yan. So, kinakailangan natin i-recover yan. Kailangan natin kunin yan kahit na anong mangyari. Di ba? So, yan yung uh, nationalist, uh, expansionist nationalism. So, pagkuha ng territories na dating sa inyo na, although uh, hindi na gusto ng mamamayan doon na bumalik pa sa inyo. So, I hope you you understand. The term was coined during the late 19th century as European powers indulged in the scramble for Africa. So, merong mga uh, territory, territories na pinag-aagawan during sa Africa. So, dyan lumabas ang expansionist. In the name of national glory, but has been most associated with militarist governments during the 20th century, including fascist Italy. So, yan. So, doon sa World War II, World War, I, World War II, halimbawa, so makikita natin yung German, Germany, uh, mga Jews, uh, di ba, makikita natin kung paano pinatay yung mga milyong-milyong tao, paano kinukunker yung mga countries, so, dito yung expansionist nationalism. So, halimbawa niyan, pinaka-simple pinaka is kung paano, paano ka mag o mag-colonize ng isang uh, territory na dati na halimbawa ng sayo o hindi, uh, o, kasa, o gusto mong sumapi sa iyo. So, yun yung halimbawa. So, I hope you understand. So, let's proceed with the romantic nationalism. So, ano ang meron sa romantic nationalism? So, it is also known as organic nationalism and identity nationalism. Di ba? So, ibig sabihin, organic, kung anong pagkakakilalan, so, sino kayo? So, yun yung pagkakaalam. It's the form of ethnic nationalism. For example, maranaw lang, maranaw lang kayo, o kaya Filipino, Filipino uh, Tagalog, halimbawa, in which the state derives political legitimacy as a natural organic consequence and expression of the nation. Okay, so doon, doon tayo magbabase doon sa race, nation, or ethnicity. So, yan ang ibig sabihin ng romantic nationalism. It reflected the ideas of romanticism and was opposed to enlightenment rationalism. Okay, di ba? So, romantic nationalism emphasizes sa historical ethnic culture which meets the romantic ideal. So, ibig sabihin, nagpo-focus tayo sa ethnic culture. Kung ano yung pagkakakilala ng isang tribo, pagkakakilala ng isang bansa, so doon lang sila nagpo-focus. So hindi sila hindi, hindi sila sasali doon sa ibang tribo, ibang ibang uh, race. So magfo-focus lang sila doon sa kanilang lugar. So ibig sabihin, kung ano yung gusto nilang ipatupad, dapat uh, nakaangkop doon sa kanilang pamumuhay. Okay. So basahin natin itong the, the, the Brothers Grimm were inspired by Herders writing to create an idealized collection of tales which they labeled as ethnically German. Historian Jews Michelet or Mekilet ex exempla exemplifies French Romantic nationalism history. So napakalawak nito kung pag-usapan natin. So ang simple, uh, pinakasimple lang is Roman Romantic nationalism is you are only implying, you are only uh, focusing on the... Uh, identity the ethnicity of a certain culture certain certain community so doon lang magbabase di ba okay the yeah, number 4 is cultural nationalism so we focus on the culture kung ano yung meron meron na kultura sa isang lugar so defines the nation by shared culture di ba so ang isang ang isang national isang isang bansa ay hindi mabubuo mabubu hindi mabubuo kung hindi ito uh, sumasaklaw sa marami, maraming kultura na bumubuo rito. Membership, the state of being members in the nation is neither entirely voluntary, you cannot instantly acquire a culture. 
nor hereditary children of membership may be considered foreigners if they grew up in another culture. So di ba may mga instances halimbawa na Maranao ka pero hindi ka lumaki sa Marawi, hindi ka lumaki sa Lanao del Norte, Lanao del Sur, so may tendency na hindi mo ma-adapt o hindi mo maintindihan kung ano yung pinapatupad ng kultura, pinapatupad ng kultura ng yung mga uh, kamaranawan, ang tawag dito, yung, ng yung mga kapamilya na maranao. Yet, the traditional culture can be more easily incorporated into an individual's life, especially if the individual is allowed to acquire its skills. Okay, so, uh, tendency naman talaga kapag kung saan ka pinanganap, kung ano yung kultura na kinagistan mo, so yun yung magdi-develop sa'yo, yun ang magiging way of life mo, yun ang magiging daan para mabuo ka bilang isang tao. Lalo na yung personality natin, di ba? Cultural nationalism has been described as a variety of nationalism that is neither purely civic nor ethnic. Okay. The nationalisms of Catalonia, Kiwis, and Flanders have been described as cultural. So, yan ang nationalism. Cultural nationalism. So, bakit? Tatanungin natin. Bakit may pagkakaiba? So, doon, doon may pagkakaiba dahil uh, halimbawa, mahal mo yung kultura. So, you are a nationalist living your own culture. Di ba? So, yun yung bumubuo sa pagkataon. Revolutionary nationalism as radical nationalism is an ideological theory that calls for a national communi community united by a shared sense of purpose and destiny. It was first attributed to adherents of the revolutionary syndicalism and heavily promulgated by Benito Mussolini. So, ang pinakamahirap na, ang pinakamahirap, ang sample natin halimbawa is yung mga Secessionist, kung mayroon tayo sa Pilipinas, mga NPA. So, nagre-revolutionary sila para magtatag ng sariling uh, bansa nila, sariling adhikain na naglalayong sirain yung present administration, kumakalaban sa administration. So, this intellectual synthesis of radical nationalism and dissident socialist form in France and Italy at the beginning of the 20th century. So, nagsimula sa France at saka sa Italy, itong revolutionary nationalism. So, Scottish nationalism has been described as revolutionary nationalism as, as its main goal, goal is for Scotland to break away from the UK and become an independent sovereign state. So, so nagre-revolutionalize, -re revolutionary, para Halimbawa, ang isang estado, ang isang certain territory sa isang lugar, sasapi sa isang bansa, is alis halimbawa. So, gagawa sila ng revolutionary uh, tactic para makalabas. So, nationalism. Okay. Post-colonial nationalism. So, since the process of decolonization that occurred after World War II, di ba yung pananakop, there has been a rise of third world, third world nationalism. Third world nationalism occur in those nations that had been colonized and exploited. So, tayo yun. Excuse me. Third, uh, third world country. The nationalisms of these nations were forged in a furnace that required assistance to colonial domination in order to survive. So, di ba? So, uh, inakaila. So, dun sa mga na-colonize, salimbawa. So, after being colonized, so gumagawa tayo ng paraan para gumawa sila ng paraan para magtatag ulit ng kanilang maayos na pundasyon sa kanilang pamayanan o sa kanilang estado. As such, resistance is part and partial of such nationalisms and their very existence is a form of resistance to imperial intrusion. So, if in case na mayroong sasakop sa atin, so as a form of nationalism, so we will fight for our own uh, country, so hindi tayo magpapakolonize. So, th there are examples, so makikita natin dyan, so basahin, lang, basahin nyo lang, makakatulong sa atin to. So, number seven is language nationalism. So, we have Bill 101, is a law in the province of Quebec in Canada, defining French, the language of the majority of the people, as the official language of the provincial government. So, kita niyo ha. Other forms of language nationalism is the English-only movement that advocates for the use of only the English language. 
Okay, and unlike, unlike in the Philippines, we use na our national language, uh, two national official national language. Meron tayong English at saka Filipino. So yon. Then liberation nationalism, katulad ng Emilev, more Islamic liberation front. So we for self determination. So we we uh, we were liberated. Say my liberation lang nga lang dahil binigyan lang tayo ng sarili na sarili nating semi form of government na kung saan uh, tayo tayo yung nagdi-decide although we are still part of the Philippines okay so number nine we have left wing nationalism so ano ibig sabihin ng left wing nationalism also occasionally known as socialist nationalism refers to any political movement that combines left-wing politics or socialism with nationalism so ang may mga notable example nito is Fidel Castro 26th of July movement that launched the Cuban revolution ousting the American back for Batista in 1959 Ireland's Sinfin Laborionism in Israel and the African National Congress in South Africa so patatanggalin mo halimbawa yung party ng uh, tawag dito uh, political movement para hindi sila mamuno halimbawa tatanggalin sila so left wing so halimbawa left wing tatanggalin sila okay para sila mismo yung yung kabila ang mamuno doon sa isang estado so number 10 is liberal nationalism i think niya na repeat ba ah liberation nationalism okay liberal is uh, it's a kind of nationalism defended recently by political philosophers who believe that there can be non xenophobic form of nationalism compatible with liberal values of freedom. So, dito naman is yung uh, liberal is, tao dito, yung freedom natin, tolerance, equality, individual rights. So, yun yung pinapa, ipinag, uh, ipinapagtanggol o ipina Eh, ginagawang advocate ng liberal nationalism. So, meron tayong Ernest Renan, the author of Case Nation, and John Stuart Mill are often thought to be easily liberal nationalism. So, sila yung mga uh, tinatawag natin mga author kung saan uh, they are political philosophers na nag, nag dictate na ito yung makakaganda pamumuno. Okay. Liberal nationalists often defend the value of national identity by saying that individual needs a national identity in order to lead meaningful, autonomous lives. Di ba makikita natin yan? So, meron tayong identity. We are Filipino. So, sa Bangsamoro, we are Bangsamoro people. So, we acquire our self-identity. Self because of our self-determination. Okay. So, number 11, 